Hello everyone, this is Mukundan Ragaman and today we are going to do the quick git initial commit. Initial videos we have installed the git to track our version changes. Along with that we have other benefits such as like we can have our backup in remote. At the same time we can share our repository to others. Even if you want to open our repository in other systems we can just go to the remote repository and clone from there. So these are the benefits we are going to have when we have the git repository. Let's jump into the video and try to understand how to make our repository as the git enabled. As you see here, we have our project structure. In order to make our project git enabled, we need to execute some commands. Let us execute some commands and try to understand what are those. Just open our project in terminal and type git in it. Since we already installed the git, it will be available to you and just you will execute the git in it. As soon as you execute the git in it, it will create the folder called dot git. So this is the folder is responsible to track our changes and make our code to be available in the remote repository. The point to be noted here is like as of now, we are enabling our local project as a Git project. We are not pushing to any Git remote repository as of now. Then after having the .git folder, you might be thinking we have a lot of folders here. However, it's not required to push everything to the Git repository. For example, node modules are the general reusable node modules from the JavaScript or TypeScript. Basically, we don't want to backup this. The same way we don't want to push our playwright report or test results because this is very specific to our project. If anybody wants to use our project, they may need only our source code. So that's the reason we are going to create one more file called dot git ignore, which means that whenever we try to push our local repository to the remote repository, we are telling a set of files or folders to be excluded, to be ignored. So in order to make this, we are going to create one more file called dot git ignore. Dot git ignore. Yes. So it should be having the dot git ignore. For example, if you are not able to see any dot extension files, just go to the views and there will be a show and there you can see the hidden item should be checked. Okay, now let's get into the dot git ignore. And this is the file. And already I have created the list of things which we don't want that. For example, node modules, test results, play rate report and cache. So these are the things we don't need that. So let me close this and going to the project folder. Now we have set up everything. Now let's go to the online. And if you don't have the account in github.com, just go to the github.com slash sign up. You can create your own account by providing the mail ID and authenticate that. After having that, you will be going to your maybe the actual GitHub profile and you will be seeing the empty page might be if you are the first user. And after that, you can see the click and just click on the new repository. And we will create our repository name. Basically, we can use the same project name or we can use anything else also. And it is available. So it is a unique name and just click on create repository. Now here there are two options. One is like you are going to create from the scratch or you are going to push an existing repository. As you know that we already start working on the, our project and we have set up all the things, for example, dot git folder and .git ignore files. So we already have the existing repository. But our existing repository may not be knowing the new repository that we have created remotely, which means that this one. In our folder or let's say in our profile, we have created the enterprise playwright automation framework, but it is in the remote. So our local project may not have the knowledge about the remote repository. So for that, we are going to execute git remote add origin. That means that we are adding the remote address, which is origin as of now. And the value of the origin is the same thing, which is the remote address. Let me copy only the first command, git remote add origin. Paste it, enter. Okay, it has been added already. Now let me create the another one. So this command will make sure this will be the main branch. Let me paste it and, and enter. Yes, we have created the main branch. Now before going to that, let me clear the screen. 
now type git status now here you can see these are the files has not been pushed to our local commit that means that we have the staging area in our local itself which should be the intermediate area where you will confirm after reviewing your code these are the files should be pushed to the remote so you can see these are untracked that means that whenever you add to the tracking these files these folders will be tracked for any changes that we are doing in the future so before we need to add everything so git add dot which means that it will track everything now after that if you type git status you can see everything has been changed to green which means hereafter whatever the changes we are making in these folders or files will be tracked by the git now we are clear we have added to the staging area or tracking area then after that once we are reviewed for all the files and folders we will mention git commit and when you commit it it should be with message hyphen m stands for message then it will be the initial commit then click enter so everything has been committed so this all things happen only in local which means that we have added the origin that means that we are telling the reference whenever we push the code it has to be pushed to the remote repository url then we just saw the tracked file and untracked file we saw everything was untracked so we have added all those things by using the git add dot dot means mentioning all the files under that folder then we have added all these things to the tracking then after if i type git status it is showing this all will be tracked and whatever the changes has to be there in this whenever we do commit it will be committed so we have reviewed all the files because we have already seen what are the things are there in this then we mentioned git commit hyphen m basically we are committing ready to be pushed till now we have not pushed to the git repository if you want to confirm go to here and just refresh the page you will not see anything now coming back to the terminal we are okay and now we will type git commit sorry git push enter now it will tell another command because we are pushing for the first time and even we are not sure from our local branch to the remote branch is it same the first time we are telling okay this will be the normal relationship from local to the remote repository so that's the reason we are using git push hyphen stat upstream so basically whenever we go upstream the origin in that origin we will be looking for the main branch only paste that and enter now everything has been pushed now if i go to the remote repository and click refresh here you can see everything has been added here but you might notice here there is no node modules there is no report folder because we added git ignore file so that the node modules test results playwright report and cache will not be added to our project so our remote repository will be very clean and it will have only our source code if you want to see the source code it will be having only the pages and test why because we have only the contents inside these folders now we successfully pushed our code to the git remote repository let's imagine you are sharing this url to others how they use it for that you need to go to the git and copy this url and let me go to the different folder all together for example go to the downloads and let's imagine i am the new person i want to create the project from the scratch or i want to refer our project so let's say click on demo git and let me get into this and open terminal from here even you can use the vs code but let's take it from here and i will type git clone and space that url and enter now if i go to this folder i can see the same project it's ready to start so this is the way we will be pushing our code to the git repository it is the only one time activity once you have created the initial remote repository and made your local repository as the git repository then going forward you will be just pushing your changes to your remote repository so what are the things we have seen let me summarize everything first of all we made our local repository as a git repository by using the git init at the same time parallelly we have created the remote repository by signing up into the github and we created our first 
remote or project repository there. Then we have given the knowledge to our local repository. Whenever we try to push to the remote, this is your address, which is github.com and your project address from the remote. Then our files has not been tracked. We did not mention that which are the files or which are the folders to be tracked. We have seen that by using the git status, what are the things are there, what are the things are, are not tracked. Then after we mention git add dot, so all the files should be tracked. Then after that, after reviewing everything, we mentioned git commit with initial commit. That means that we have committed everything and these are the committed files are ready to be pushed to the remote repository. And we have created the main branch as main because we might have the multiple branches. And after that, we have pushed to the git push origin and we mentioned iPhone U or upstream. So which will make sure that whenever here after we push, we don't need to type everything git push hyphen u or upstream origin main we can just mention the git push but before to that we need to give the knowledge so for that for the first time we have given upstream origin main then we have pushed everything then after pushing we have seen all the code in this before all this we added the dot git ignore folder to avoid unnecessary files to be uploaded into the remote repository then later point we have seen how to use the git clone so that if you want to use or if others want to use our repository, we will be using the same URL and we will clone to our local and we can start working from there. So these are the things we have covered in this video. And this is all about how to make our repository as a Git repository. And this is all about this video. And thanks for watching and have a great day.